lemon curd is one of those items that I think is so versatile in the kitchen. You can use it in tarts, you can use it on cakes, and it is one of my favorite things to have around. Whether you're just spreading it on your favorite biscuit or using it in a recipe, I think lemon curd is important to know how to make. And yes, you can buy the jarred varieties, but come on, how long have they been in that jar? And honestly, it is not that hard to make. A few simple ingredients and you will be on your way to amazing homemade lemon curd. And let me tell you something, there is nothing else like it. To start, I like to whisk everything together in my electric mixer. You can do it by hand, you can use a hand mixer, but hey, if my mixer's gonna be out, I'm gonna use it. So just put two whole eggs, and then two egg yolks right into the bowl of your electric mixer. Next, you just wanna add your sugar. Of course you need sugar because the lemons are so tart and almost sour that you need sugar to balance them out. And then you want the zest of a whole lemon. I love to use the microplane to zest them. Just make sure to get just the yellow parts and not the white pithy stuff because it's kind of bitter. Once you've zested that, you just wanna juice the lemons. And of course, first use the lemon you just zested because otherwise they dry out so quickly. So I always like to zest it and then just juice it right away. Dump your juice in. And then mix that together until it is really well mixed. You wanna make sure the sugar starts dissolving and that everything is mixed together. If you want a little bit thicker lemon curd, you can add a little bit of cornstarch. You do not have to do this, it is completely optional, but it will have it set up just a little bit thicker and make it better. If you really wanna have almost a firm filling for a tart or something, I like to have just a little bit of cornstarch, but it is completely optional. Once it's mixed together really well, just pour it into a small saucepan and then take it right over to the stove. Over medium to medium high heat, just constantly be stirring it to make sure it is evenly warming and is not cooking in one spot or getting burned. And you just wanna cook it until it starts to thicken. The best way to gauge this is really just when it coats the back of the spoon or the spatula you're using. Just pull it up and see if your finger drags through it and leaves a clean line. It'll take a little bit, but you will definitely notice when it starts to thicken, just like if you're making a pudding. Um, and if you haven't made pudding, I think it's time because pudding is delicious too. Just keep stirring it until it is really thickened and it coats the back of that spoon. Then remove it from the heat and right away strain it. Straining it just takes out the chunks of the zest or if any of the egg kind of overcooked and got hard. So you just wanna strain it through a fine mess strainer and then it'll be really smooth and delicious. Once it is strained, just add a little bit of butter. This really just adds flavor, texture, creaminess, and believe me, it's worth it, and stir it in. Next, you are done. Just put a piece of plastic rack directly on top of the curd. This prevents any skin from forming. And I know some of you out there love that skin. I kind of do too. So if you do, you can let it go without the plastic wrap and you can pull off that skin and have it all to yourself. Okay, that sounds kind of gross. So you don't have to do that, but it's completely optional. If you don't want the skin, put the plastic wrap right on it. Then just put it into your fridge, let it chill, and you have lemon curd whenever you need it. This will keep for about two weeks in your fridge, or I found out you can freeze this and it freezes beautifully for up to three months. Just put it in your freezer and then when you want it, pull it out and put it into the fridge overnight so it thaws and you have amazing fresh lemon curd. Seriously, you guys, this is a great basic recipe to have in your repertoire and I know you are gonna wanna make this time and again because it is delicious, it is so amazing, and who doesn't love lemon? So go make yourself some lemon curd. If you agree and like this video, make sure to click like below and click subscribe to become part of the Gray Boxwood channel.